4703U, Problem and Inquiry-Based Learning, a foundational course in the Educational Studies and Digital Technology program in UOIT's Faculty of Education. Each video clip in this series will begin with a series of analysis questions. The analysis questions for this video clip are as follows. Number one, according to the video, why might you be interested in taking a course about inquiry-based, problem-based learning? What are the expected outcomes of the course? What should you know and be able to do by the end of the course? And number three, what tools and methods will you be using to meet the expected outcomes? This course has the distinction of being the first undergrad course at UOIT that was offered totally online. And it uses a combination of video clips on YouTube, video conferencing, and social networking tools. It is also to be the first course at UOIT designed to offer glimpses into PBL and IBL as an elective for students in all faculties across the university. You are invited to explore Wikipedia's description of PBL. Wikipedia's page described PBL as a student-centered pedagogy in which students learn about a subject in the context of complex, multifaceted, and realistic problems. Working in groups, students identify what they already know, what they need to know, and how and where to access new information that may lead to the resolution of a problem. The role of the instructor is that of a facilitator who provides appropriate scaffolding of that process by, for example, asking probing questions, providing appropriate resources, and leading class discussions, as well as designing student assessments. And that's again taken from wikipedia.org's page on problem-based learning. Note the similarities and differences between PBL and IBL um, by exploring Wikipedia's description of IBL. You may be asking yourself why you might be interested in taking a look at PBL and IBL at all, since the program you are currently enrolled in looks at issues of becoming health sciences professionals, engineers, scientists, social scientists, or educators. This course and the associated BA and ESDT program were designed specifically with you in mind. This course recognizes the growing importance of formal and informal lifelong learning as seen in the expanding professional development needs of post-secondary instructors, as well as similar needs in the corporate, governmental, community-based, and professional work environments. As the educational needs of these institutions and organizations continue to grow, outside of the traditional educational institutions, and as human resources departments turn their attention to the economic benefits of just-in-time online learning opportunities, there is an increased need for individuals with the knowledge, competencies, and skills associated with teaching and learning in physical and virtual environments in the digital age. This course intends to assist in the preparation of a new kind of expert, essential to the knowledge-based economy, an expert who possesses both broad social understanding of education and the specialized knowledge and competency base in the educational studies with a focus in the use of digital technologies for learning. The remainder of this video clip references the course outline or syllabus which can be found in the Blackboard portion of this course. This course examines the pedagogical related to teaching strategies concept of problem and inquiry based learning, its defining theories, its current strategies, and its development. Specifically by the end of this course, students will have demonstrated an ability to, and I would ex ask you to explore the seven uh, outcomes that are actually outlined in the course syllabus itself. The specific enabling tasks that will be used in this course are, are things such as participation in online collaborative tasks, i.e. a discussion forum, Google Docs, Twitter, etc. Reading and participating in tutorial sessions, collaborating in the design and production of problem-based learning object, participation in mock-up online PBL IBL situations, and review the situation of an evaluation strategy for PBL and IBL. All course activities will be designed in a manner that will allow for access with a wide range of mobile devices such as smartphones and tablets, iPads, Galaxy tabs, etc., therefore favoring the development of a truly mobile learning culture anywhere, anytime. This 36-hour, three-credit course will be articulated in 12 modules, each including one, one hour, up to one hour of video clip-based scenarios broken down into two, three, 
five to six minute long segments. And the videos will be installed on YouTube in the EDUC 4703U channel. And secondly, one hour of synchronous group tutorial activities in Adobe Connect. By scheduling different groups to access a session at different times of the day, the program will be able to accommodate students from a wide variety of time zones. Please see the so hardware software requirements that need to be met in order to enjoy a relatively smooth experience within this video conferencing environment. And thirdly, the final element of each module will include at least one hour devoted to online activities such as forum discussions, self-directed learning activities as specified in the course calendar. Uh, using a wide variety of online resources. Although this covers the basic three-hour commitment to the course, it should be noted that additional reading or other coursework will be expected from the students. For instance, while viewing the YouTube video clips, you should be constantly exploring the internet for further information and then critiquing it with respect to all ideas, topics instigated in the video clips. While the Blackboard course site will be the official website for this course, most of your interactions with colleagues will occur in other environments or tools. The major resources to be used for this course are internet-based, that is, they are available using an internet connection. Some of these may be only accessed through the UIT library as they are restricted by licensing agreements. There are only a few of these. Others are freely uh, accessible through services like YouTube, Twitter, or CMAP. Um, it is expected that all students in this course will use these resources in many different ways. The following non-exhaustive list describes some of the resources and how they could be used. So Twitter-based materials and websites can be used for information gathering and filtering. Um, sites such as Twitter, uh, Blackboard Discussion, Journal Wiki, um, other discussion tools, um, instant messaging programs, Skype, Adobe Connect, and Google Hangouts can be used for communication between students, TAs, and course facilitators. They can also be used for knowledge building. Uh, sites such as Prezi can be used for information presentation to others. CMAP can be used as a graphical organization of ideas and information, information presentation to others, etc. And then YouTube, of course, is information presentation to others and creation of your own uh, presentations. It's expected that students will continue to develop intellectual independence throughout this course. In other words, don't wait to be told what tool to use or what to do. Be ad adventurous and get started on your own. All course assignments are listed in the course syllabus along with their due dates. Since this course follows an intensive plan, students will be expected to begin work on all assignments and course activities immediately at the beginning of the course. You should be working on this course on a regular basis. The final presentation and paper will need to be addressed very early on in order to ensure that it will be completed by the course end date. Collaborative group work will be expected. Students will be expected to form a group of two or three students, and this group will be self-regulated in that each member of the group will be responsible for participating in the group work, and as some of the assignments are graded on the basis of a project presented by the group, it is up to the group to determine who will be doing what and then ensuring that it is completed within the required time frame. Some assistance will be available from the course TA and instructor early in the course, but this assistance will de decrease over the course. Read the remainder of the course syllabus as posted in the course Blackboard website as course expectations are stated in this document. Finally, you will find that each video clip concludes with a series of synthesis questions. The synthesis questions for this particular video clip are as follows. Number one, discuss the potential benefits to your education that should arise from participating in this course. Number two, which course outcomes are of more importance and why? Number three, how are the course tasks, activities, and resources tied to the outcomes? And number four, how is the course tied together? In other words, made cohesive. Why was this structure chosen? And that brings us to the end of this first video clip.